Okay, so coming up to the end of our Southfield District event, we've got a couple of familiar faces here in the finals of our Southfield District event. Red jumping out to that pretty commanding 1-0 lead. I think Blue's gonna look to come out and try to take early control of that scale. That scale uh, is really kind of determining our matches here in the finals. So we'll see if they can get a little bit of an edge there. Finals match one in the autonomous mode. Notre Dame prep and Avondale both scoring for Red, the hot team on Milford scoring for Blue. Yeah, so Red, I think, getting it in a couple seconds faster than Blue. That gives them a small edge here, I think, coming out of autonomous mode. Um, all six robots crossing that auto mode line for those five points apiece. Okay, Notre Dame Prep and Cesar Chavez both going up at the same time, both scoring simultaneously the scale, remaining in balance. Here goes the second scoring volley. What's interesting to note is where the cubes go on the scale has an impact. When 3538 dropped their cube there, you saw the scale bounce down towards the red side for a second because their cube was on the very end, giving it the maximum leverage. But the Red Alliance has possession now. Two more go on, scoring in tandem from Notre Dame Prep and Avondale for Red, taking possession of the scale one point per second. Yep, so it's just counting up now. I mean, both teams have control of their switch, but Red, uh, with that scale control, is just going to start building their lead as time goes on here. Yeah, Red is getting two points per second compared to one point per second for Blue with only the switch, one drop to the floor by Avondale. And that's something to watch out for. These things are getting full. It's only week one, right? It's only week one and the scale is already getting full. So how are teams going to find a way around that roadblock? Yep, and another drop by, by Cesar Chavez from Blue. They scramble to pick it back up. Blue still trying, trying to take back possession. And you can see it actually, it actually looks like it's getting close again, right? Because red with the full scales have been having a little bit of trouble getting more on top of that scale, but blue is finding some ways to stack higher. But the killer bees drop one onto the arm of the scale, getting what looks like a seventh one on top. Yep. And that one that's on the arm of the scale probably only counts for about half a cube, right? When you take the, the, the moments into uh, effect there. So Blue has actually got it tipped back their direction, um, but very late in the match, only maybe 30 seconds left, it's gonna be pretty hard for them to overcome the lead that Red has right now. Yeah, so teams moving now, the hot team from Milford moving into, pos into position to hang, and Killer B is doing the same, getting ready to hang for the end game. And we need to look at this 67 robot. So they actually lower a ramp for their partner to drive up. We see their partner driving up right there, that's Bradford Academy. Um, and 67 is going to go up and carry their partner with them. We have to get both of the team's bumpers above the brick wall before the match ends. And I think we've got one hanging for red, two hanging for blue at the end of the match. Yeah, that's a 60 point bonus for the blue alliance over the 30 point bonus for red, but looks like red still has the win. Yeah, this, they couldn't overcome the scale deficit. Red picking up a few extra penalty points um, and also outscoring them in the vault. A little bit closer contest than finals match one, but Red's still able to take it in two.